We have got the TNF Indoors on Battleground, home of Davis Troxler, home of Football and Focus on Thursday night. We've got Tristan Sweeney with us. Sweeney, first of all, to be a night hog, what does it mean to be one of those hogs up front, those big night hogs, those offensive linemen for the night hogs? You know, you got to, we're a family, and we're all, we're all brothers, like, just like the rest of the team. And we're nasty at the same time. Got to be nasty, got to be dirty, yes, got to be sir. gritty. Coach uh, Westberg says you guys are a gritty bunch. Got to yes, be that sir. too. Yes, sir. Between you and Sam, that's a good connection. You guys got a lot in common working together up front. He's at the center of your right guard. How about those other hogs? How do they fit in, the other hogs? You know, like I said, we're all brothers. And we, we all got, like, my right tackle, TJ King. He's a, he's a dog. We're all dogs. And we all got the connection. Eddie, he's the left guard. He's. What makes these offensive linemen different? They got to be different than the other guys. What makes them different? Well, our biggest difference is our size. Yeah, first and yes, foremost, sir. big men. Yes, sir. And uh, how did all this come about for you, becoming an offensive lineman? Take us back to the earlier days you got going and got things started. How did all this come together? Well, starting in Youth League, uh, I was made a right guard in Youth League. That's been right. Right guard the whole time? Yes, sir. Wow, your whole life a right guard. Yes, sir. Me and Bagley, we played, uh, I think he played guard in Youth League, but huh. we played on the same team in Youth League. How much do you weigh now, 265? Yes, sir. I saw you listed at 265. Yes, sir. Now, when did you start getting bigger? Were you big even back then? Um, I was, I've been a big kid my whole life, but mm -hmm. really this past two, couple years, um, that's when I started getting big in the weight room, getting the, the numbers up as much as I can. What do the numbers look like in the weight room these days? Uh, squatting about 530. Uh, benching about 330. 330? Yes, sir. Not bad at all. 300 pounds plus on that bench, not bad at all. Uh, what do you think has made this Northern Guilford team so successful this year? 7-0, and I mean, you can't touch that. You guys are unbeaten, perfect records up to this point, playing, playing Paige tomorrow night. But what's made this team so good so far? Well, I think we've come, we've matured as a team. A lot, like last year, a lot of our team games last year were close. We're just that one, one or two scores away from closing it out. But this year, we really focused and matured as a team as a whole because a lot of our team is returning. We, yeah. So Got the experience yes, now. Sir. Yes, sir. And uh, you had some close games. One of those close games last year, I think Jackson was telling us about this, Jackson Kemp, your quarterback, the Page game was close, and they, Page beat you guys last year. Yes, sir. Still, the way you guys are playing, that's hard to be lost to Page last year, but you did. And what does it take again? The team, guys have told us already, you got to have that unity, you got to have that team spirit, got to play together, got to have the brotherhood working. What does it take to beat Page tomorrow night? Well, we're just going to keep doing our job, keep doing what we're doing, keep the, mo keep the motor going. The good old Northern go for football, right? Yes, sir. How would you, I mean, uh, you've talked about it already. What do you, how do you describe it? What do you like most about this Northern go for football brand, the brand you guys bring? I mean, it's a winning tradition out there. Yes, sir. Four state championships. You know the name of the stadium? Uh, Johnny Roscoe. Ah, you got it. We got it. One man. I only asked it to one person. He got it tonight. Very good job there. So, Coach Roscoe, any memories of him when you were watching games as a kid? Uh, to be honest, no. I just, I just know he was, he was, he was a good coach. He was yeah. a great coach. Well, who do you think is the top Northern Guilford player ever out there? Uh, the years, all those years. I mean, you got to get it to uh, the Chargers. Um, Keenan Allen. Keenan Allen, yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, Keenan, number thirteen. Now yes, he's sir. moved from the Chargers over to the Bears these days. Played for the Bears, and they had a good running back back in those days too. T.J. Logan, a good yes, one. Sir. One of my favorite players ever. Look him up sometime. Ask Coach. Uh, well, Coach Westbrook wasn't there. Then you have to ask Coach Roscoe. Uh, Daniel Downey. Daniel back in the day. C.J. Freeman. A lot of just a lot of talent. Christian McCain played. There. He went on to the pros. A lot of talent has come through Northern over the years. And we mentioned T.J. Logan already. This year's team. What do you like about your running back, Dwight Hall, Lassiter Jr.? What do you like about Dwight Hall? Uh, he's he really runs his feet, and he doesn't. He hates being tackled. He just keeps going. He don't stop, and he's you know he's. He's pretty short, so it's hard to see him in the backfield. So he get, and gets behind you and Sam Bagley. Yes, you can't even hardly yes, find him. He trusts, he trusts his own lineman. That's a good thing, too. And Amari Akers, what about Amari's running style? Same thing. Amari just runs his feet. He don't like being tackled. He's run through the end zone. And he trusts. He really trusts our old lineman to get their blocks. What's the feeling like? I mean, it, it hurts me to think about this already because I see it in so many games. Say Dwight Hall or Amari Akers runs for about 20, 25 yards upfield. Good run, big first down, move the chains. They get ready to move the chains. I said, Wait a minute, wait. The official says, bring it back. I got a flag on the field. I got a hold on number, what's your number? 77. Hold on number 77. What's that feeling like? It's awful, <sighs> but you can't stick on it. You got to turn the page you and go to the next play. Who taught you that? Coaches. Yeah, that's a good yes, thing. That's a good thing to tell the guys. Yes, sir. You got to keep moving on. You got to come back and you got 25 on that play. You got to get me 35 yes, on the sir. next one. You got to make it back. Get the 25 back, get 10 more to go with it as far as that goes. Yes, sir. If you could coach Coach Westberg, put him on the field in the position, where do you put him out on the field as a player, and how do you coach him some plays maybe for Coach Westberg? How do you use him? Oh, 
Yeah. Like position wise? Yeah. I mean, I got to put him at quarterback. Put him at QB. He's a good leader. Yeah. And he, he gets the team and he gets everybody together and puts them on one path. See, he one gets thing, focused on the path. One thing he does well, watch this in the Fox 8 uh, mic up the coaches that mic them up. He, he does a good job blowing that whistle. Did you see that video when he was on Fox 8, when he was doing the video on Fox 8? Yeah, yeah. He kept blowing that whistle. And this bringing the whistle back into football better than ever. Good job. Favorite college football team these days? Who do you like in college? Uh, I've always I've been born in the UNC. So, yeah. Yes, sir. Now, you would know this name possibly. If you don't, you'll look him up later. College football's on Saturday, right? Ever heard the name Jeff Saturday? Yes, sir. Former Carolina offensive lineman who doesn't look like one now. I think he's like a commentator for TV, but when he lost all that weight, Another guy did that. I'm just to kind of make a comparison between Saturday and another guy. The guy played for the Panthers during the championship days. They played so well. Big offensive lineman, Jordan Gross. Remember him? Remember that name at all, Jordan Gross? No, I can't recognize him. Yeah, anyway, he weighed about probably 340, 50 pounds. He lost that about maybe 210, just completely different yeah. look. Now, yourself, you're going to keep this way as long as you're playing football. When you're playing football, you're going to try to slim down, change your look, or just keep it the same? Just stay the same? Uh, I plan on. Getting down a little bit, I plan on going to lacrosse. And really, yes, lacrosse? Sir. Yes, sir. Ooh, have you played it yet? Yes, sir. I played it for about four years. Well, you've been playing already. Um, you've been playing that already then? No, nah, I stopped in uh, middle school. So you played up to middle school? Yes, sir. And you're going to go back to it probably? Yes, sir. Will you play this year your senior year? Or is this your senior year? Sir? Yes, sir. Yeah, because Sam's a junior, mm -hmm. you're a senior. I'm the only you... senior in the O-line. Really? Yes, sir. Man, the experience is there. So you will play lacrosse this year then? Yes, sir. Wow. 265, going to knock it on that about, what, 230? Yes, sir. That's the plan. Is that the goal? Yes, sir. Yeah. Man, that sounds good. Get that game adjusted and do lacrosse. Well, you could put a hurt on something lacrosse. <laughs> yeah. You better find some pads. Or those little pads, you got to find those bigger pads. <laughs> yeah. You know, those shoulder pads. Yeah, yeah. yeah those little skinny pads. You got to find some bigger ones for you. No doubt about it. Uh, college football, UNC Tar Heels. <laughs> we talked about Coach West for a couple of you guys. What would you do to help Carolina this season? They've had their problems. How could you help them out and turn them around a little bit? Well, they got the running back there, Mario Hampton. Yeah. Guys, still got the yards. Yeah, I mean, you really got just got to get the team together. I mean, I don't have any coaching experience, right. so I, I just know with the offensive line, and that's just what I've been doing my whole life. You it really all starts gotta, up front. Yes, sir. Every coach tells us that. It all starts the offensive line. Yes, sir. And then the lines will probably determine tomorrow night's game against Page, that victory for you guys if you get it. And if you yes, don't, sir. the line will be determining everything. Uh, had you ever heard of GreenSportsSports.com before tonight? You had, hadn't you? Because I see you talk about him on Twitter occasionally. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. Roche, you know Bryant Roche, the news and record Bryant Roche. He writes about you occasionally. Mm -hmm. We talk about you occasionally. And got this guy here tonight, Tristan Sweeney. Any relation to Dabo? No, sir. Well, that would be a fun team to play for in college. You, <laughs> yeah. should, you should write Dabo and say, hey, I'm one of your long lost relatives. Can you get me on that offensive line? <laughs> yeah. Get me going to Clemson. Get going to the Tigers. So if you lose all that weight for lacrosse, <laughs> you're not going to give up on your college football career, though, are you? No, sir. I'm, I plan on uh, an option for me is go to Denison University. Denison? Yes, sir. Where are they, in Ohio? Yes, sir. Hmm, interesting. Denison, Ohio, yeah. It depends on where I go um, college-wise. Um, if I plan on going that route, I'm going to keep, probably keep the weight on yeah. and play O-line there and long snap. Mm -hmm. Long snap, you do, do yes, that sir. now? Yes, sir. Well, that's a, that's a craft. That's a trade with that long snapper because ran the long snapper today. Former Grimsley player, former player for the Redskins, played at Carolina. In fact, big big red, Ethan, uh, they call him the red snapper because it was Ethan Albright back in the day. Yeah. He did all that type of work, and it paid off for him. I think he made pretty good money doing it. He said right now his feet are giving him trouble, so better, better careful those feet and those legs as you get older. Uh, your pregame meal, or two or three? Um, so, like, throughout the day, I always like to snack on protein bars. Huh. I, don't, I don't like uh, eating one big meal. Right. Uh, but I like the Gatorade protein bars. I like snacking on those throughout the day. So that's your tradition? Yes, sir. Keep those going. Is there a particular flavor you like? I like the from? chocolate chip one. That's some good stuff. I always like those chocolate chip little crunchies they have, too. Very good stuff. Uh, the postgame meal, you feel like you got a chow down to the game, you had a big win. Yes, sir. You got to go to Cookout. Cookout? Yes, up sir. Up on Battleground? Yes, sir. West Ridge Square. But well, Cookout's the place to be. Definitely the place to be for you guys. Bonus question, your dream play in the game tomorrow. If you have a dream play, think, man, this is the best day of my life, best game of my life, this is my dream play. What would your dream play be? Pulling and pulling for a touchdown and get a pancake and then uh, either Amari or Buddha scores a touchdown. You know who's Buddha? Is that Dwight Hall? Yes, sir. So we got Buddha. So you're going to do the pulling guard. Your right guard. Yes, sir. So do you pull from right going toward the left side on those pulls? Yes, sir. Do you pull kind of inside toward the right uh, left guard inside or move a little wider toward the left tackle? We'll, yeah, we'll go uh, the left tackle will go down. I'll go around the left tackle. Mm -hmm. So you kind of feel his spot block yes. that way? Yeah. Trying to get a lineman there or a linebacker? Linebacker. Try to go for that linebacker. Yes, <laughs> got to block those linebackers. Those, lineback those linebackers are getting blocked. You got to do doing your job. Yes, sir. That's the most crucial part. 
everybody thinks about the D-line, but it's really that's blocking that secondary that gets you those big yards. Exactly. Plus, if your guys are covering the guys up front, the other guys, you get those linebackers, put them on their heels, you got that second tier already open. Yeah. By the time you get the secondary, you're running about, hey, I got you this far. Yeah. You take it the rest of the way, get that job done. Tristan Sweeney with us. Again, looking for a possible pulling guard. Played him on it in a pancake block for a touchdown for either Dwight Hall, Laster Jr., or Amari Akers. What about the runner on your team that people don't talk about as much, but he is a very good runner, Jackson Kemp, that quarterback? Yes, sir. We try not to get him running because we don't don't want him getting injured. Right. Uh, but, but but there are some design plays. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. But because he's athletic, he's real fast, and he can take a hit. But we just don't want to risk anything. We already got two great runners in the backfield, and we need to use them as much as we can. God forbid, but I don't even know who your backup quarterback is. I'm not sure who he is. Uh, we got our JV quarterback, uh, Amsterdam Knox. Amsterdam, Amsterdam Knox. Knox. Yeah, yes, I saw the Amsterdam name on your roster. I said, that's an interesting first name. Yes, sir. Amsterdam Knox. So his name has not come up at all yet this year, so that shows that Jackson Kemp is durable, getting the job done. Yes, sir. What do you like most about being a Northern Guilford Nighthawk? As we close out with Tristan Sweeney, senior right guard for the Nighthawks. He's a Nighthawk up front. Uh, I just love the family that we built and the team all around. We're all close and we all hang out after games. And uh, normally on Thursdays, we'll go to get sushi and all like the, the big linemen and sometimes some of the linebackers come. We always go get sushi, all you can eat sushi. What time do you guys usually go? Um, we'll go after, so Thursdays we got our walkthrough mm -hmm. or run through day. Right. Um, and we'll go after that, so it's about 7.30 or so. So you still got a chance to get there tonight? I don't know, because people are doing pictures and stuff. I don't pictures. know. What's the picture, what's the deal? Uh, like? Senior, it's like uh, for the senior thing. Okay. Yes, sir. What about the JV game? Plan to go check that out tonight over at Page? Go check out the JV uh, game? I'm not sure. I got to get a lot of work done. Okay, schoolwork? Yes, sir. What are you working on, what class? Um, what class is? I got AP uh, English. Um, but that's the biggest work I got to do, and then some econ and AP stats work. Are you taking the sports media class? No? No, sir. Maybe in the future, if you get a chance, second semester, if that's a semester-type class. Tristan, good to see you. Good to see you. We're going to vote you offensive lineman again for the week, and we got uh, Sam Bagley. We're going to vote you guys co-offensive lineman this week. How about that? <laughs> yeah. He'll share the award with Sam. This is Tristan Sweeney, Northern Guilford Nighthawks. He's a night hog up front on the offensive line, the right guard. He'll be playing Paige tomorrow night. We thank you for tuning in to Football in Focus here at the Tip and Doors on Battleground. We'll be back again next week. Thanks to Don Moore, our producer, and all that tuned in. You're going to be watching this tomorrow on YouTube, right? Yes, sir. Check us out. You, or, this is one of our main men. He's one of our promoters. He promotes the website. Keep up the good work, and thank you much.